Hello everyone, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my channel, Simple Sunday Afternoons. Today I will be making one of the most favorite desserts, cheesecake. Please join me in my kitchen to make this delicious dessert. And for this recipe I'm going to be using 4 bars of cream cheese. It doesn't matter which kind or brand you use. I will be warming up in the stove 1 half of a cup or 125 milliliters of heavy whipping cream or evaporated milk. 1 half of a cup or 120 grams of each granulated sugar and brown sugar 2 tablespoons or 28 grams of all-purpose flour 2 teaspoons or 9.86 milliliters of vanilla extract 1 teaspoon or 4.93 milliliters of almond extracts and 4 eggs I have prepared with non-stick cooking spray a 9 inch or 23 centimeters spring mold and a larger one without any grease at all for a baño de maria which means I'm going to be baking the cheesecake with the mold submerged in water and for the crust for the cheesecake I'm going to be using or crushing 30 Oreo cookies from which I have removed the frosting from the center. And for the crust I'm also adding 1 quarter of a cup or 57 grams of brown sugar. 2 tablespoons or 28.35 grams of melted butter. I'm making the crust first, so I'm crushing the cookies in the blender. You can make the crumbs of the cookies as thick or as thin you like. All depends on your taste. I'm mixing the cookie crumbs with the sugar. And with the spatula, but you can use a fork as well, I'm mixing well both ingredients together before I add the melted butter. I make sure all the cookie crumbs are covered with the melted butter. Even when this spring pan is non-stick, I always spray with non-stick cooking spray before I add the cookie crumbs. And I'm going to press the cookie crumbs with my spatula to form one crust in the bottom of the pan. My crust is done, so I'm going to start with the cheesecake. Using a stand mixer or a hand mixer or even a fork, I'm going to be mixing the four bars of cream cheese with the sugar, the vanilla extract, the almond extract and the all-purpose flour. While I was mixing those ingredients, I was warming up the heavy whipping cream and I'm going to pour it very slowly into the mix. Once the cream cheese mixture is well blended together with the heavy whipping cream, then I'm adding the eggs one at a time. Blend everything together until the mixture is creamy. And now we are ready to pour it into the pan over the crust. 
And before I forget to mention, you can also use graham crackers for the crust. With the graham crackers, once you press it into the mold, then bake it for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. I boiled about 2 cups of water and poured it into the larger pan. Then I'm going to insert the pan with the mixture inside the larger pan with the water in it. This is called Baño de Maria. I baked the cheesecake at 320 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius for about 90 minutes. The cheesecake is done when you can insert a butter knife into the center and it comes out clean. After an hour in the oven, you should check your cheesecake frequently for doneness. It took me 90 minutes, but it could take you less than that. My cheesecake is done and I let it cool about an hour before I start serving. You can also let it cool in the refrigerator overnight. Before you serve your cheesecake, you can decorate it or use your favorite toppings. I'm using whipping cream and caramel sauce, which are my favorites. I hope you like this recipe and that you subscribe to my channel to see more. Buen provecho and enjoy it. I hope I see you back again next week for another great recipe.